Here we are. In another episode of the Simple Success Podcast. Where we give you the absolute best financial coaching. This is Financial Life Coaching from a happiness perspective. Right, and that too. Have you changed this week, DT? Who, me? No way. I can't change all this awesomeness. But change is a constant, you know, and even growth can change. Oh, okay. In that case, I think I have changed a teeny tiny bit. What has changed in you? Haven't you noticed? What? I'm getting to my beach body goals. I expected you to ask me about my workout routine. Oh, sorry, DT. I didn't want to be off topic by bringing up your workout routine in a financial coaching pod. That's okay, John. It's not like I'm going to tell you how many calories or reps I do in my workout. You could. In a different world. Or a different pod. Or maybe just a different episode. Right. So, what is changing your financial goals? A lot of paradigms have shifted. Oh, <laughs> like what? Well, for one thing, I used to think investing was hard. But now I know it's attitude. And my attitude says that it's easy. Good. Now what made you change your attitude about investing? While listening to your brilliance, I picked up some things that helped me change my investment perspective. Oh, I'm impressed. With myself, of course, but you're welcome. What things did you pick up? Well, let's see. For starters, whatever you believe you can or can't achieve is true. Yeah, if you believe that investing is hard, it will be hard for you. I feel that. And Nightingale said, attitude is the magic word, right? That would be correct, DT. That's something else. Else you've told me about. Just not on this pod. Yet. Therefore, it all involves your attitude toward investing. That's right. When you change you, you change everything. And how do you change your attitude on investing? I think the subconscious and conscious mind has a lot to do with this one. It has a lot to do with your mind. My mind? Yes, your mind. And everybody else's minds. After talking about controlling your mind in episode 64, I've started controlling my mind. Oh yes, control your mind or it controls you. Which reminds me of something wonderful and fun, I bet. Indeed, says my attitude. It's the show notes. The show notes? Yes, indeed. Where that episode 64 you mentioned will be backlinked. To the pod we're now doing? Yes. That and a whole lot of Napoleon Hill quotes, probably. Yeah, Napoleon Hill is good stuff. He released Think and Grow Rich back in 1937, the book that you claim to have read. Oh, yeah, I have read part of it. He said that if you control your mind, you'll succeed at anything. Right, even at investment. And we'll get back to your part of it stuff line there later. He also said that if you don't control your mind, then your mind will control you. Can we control you instead? Why would you want to control me and not yourself? Because you talk too much. Huh, really? You might need an attitude change on that one too. Because you can only control or change yourself. You can't change me and I can't change you. Only you can change you. Daniel can help me here. Daniel, don't you think this guy talks a bit too much? That's not in my programming, yet. Oh, yeah, great idea. I think we need... Break number one. Hello, everyone. This is John with the Simple Success Podcast. Financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Because we know you want to show us some serious love in return for the tremendous benefits you get from us please head over to the support link in our written show notes. That's the words on your podcast player. There, you can choose from a $9.99 per month doing level of support, a $4.99 knowing level, or a basic intro level of just $0.99 per month. Great place to start, whichever you choose. Thank you so much for helping us do this for you. And to leave us a voice message, which just might see the light of day in a future podcast, go to those same written show notes. You'll go to a site where you can leave a video, audio, or text-only message, depending on how you feel at the moment. You can also send us an audio file attached to an email if you use just more than your phone for stuff. I won't repeat those links because weird. And anyway, show notes. It's all in there, and it's all easy. That was refreshing. Thank you, Daniel. You are welcome, Donata Durian. Yes, thanks, Daniel. Let's remind ourselves what a paradigm shift is. Paradigm shift? 
an important change that happens when the usual way of thinking about or doing something is replaced by a new and different way. What's the important change that took place in your way of thinking? You reverse engineered my way of thinking, so I'm not worried about taking investment actions. Ooh, reverse engineering, that sounds nerdy. Have you started reading up on tech stuff too? I may have started the reading habit too. I'm just saying, I, I mean reading, not saying. Good for you. I hope some positive thinking books are on your list too. Hence the paradigm shift idea. I know, you're about to bring up Think and Grow Rich again. Got me there. You know I always refer to Hill's book. <laughs> like someone with shares on the royalties, know what I'm saying? No, actually I don't know what you're saying. I don't own any royalties on the book, but the lessons from that classic book are worth more than any royalties. Even Knapp would say that. Well, I'd like to think so, yeah. Okay, so now I'm more willing to take investment risks and start my investment portfolio. I'm going to start investing now. Excellent. What investments are you looking at? I have started researching all of the available investment options. I must give it up to you, Mr. Downing Thomas. You seem to be a hard nut to crack before this. Who? What are you referring to? Who are you calling nuts? It's a figure of speech, DT. Hard nut to crack. Meaning? You seemed to be so rigid in your ways of thought before. I am glad you are unlearning and relearning new thinking patterns. I'm still learning, though. Yes, but you seem to be catching up fast. I hope you haven't considered seeking the services of an investment advisor. Why would I need an investment advisor when I have you as my financial advisor? Okay, straight up here, DT. I am honored that you consider me as your investment guide, but I'm not a financial advisor. At least not anymore. That is a heavily regulated thing. However, as your non-artificial intelligence human advisor, just one piece of investment advice. What is it? Be careful not to become so comfortable that you don't take action on the things we talk about. Are you saying that I should be uncomfortable? Saying that I am not. Not that I am saying that because I am not. Once more? Saying that I am not. Not that I'm saying that because I am not. That didn't help. Let's move on. No doubt. But you still had doubts before, Doubting Thomas. After that last exchange, I think I won't say anything. Um, my sense I need to back down a bit. And so I shall do so. Well, since I would like to get the most out of our friendship, why don't you let me in on some types of investments? Okay, I'll do that. Just so you know that this isn't a crystal ball. There are various investment strategies that you can opt for, like stocks, life insurance policies, real estate investments, and so on. How do I know the best choice for me? What's the real money? You can't. You have to experience the vast majority of them first to see what fits for you. This is a whole pod topic that you can find in our previous episodes. Like episodes 58 and 59, talking of investing in companies. Yes, Dee Dee. It's great that you're aiming at big investment decisions, like venture capital. You seem to be getting better at making decisions. This is good news. I'm glad you can notice my improvement. I wish I could say that about you, too. What do you mean, Dee Dee? You keep doing the same thing over and over again. Let me think about that. By the same thing, do you mean patience, persistence, and repetition? I do mean that. Plus, you talk too much and forget what we need. Yeah, go for a DT, express yourself. But also, be specific. Don't just wish for general good. I'm trying to do that. When? When? Like when? Like um, now? Does now work for you? No doubt. But again, you still had doubts before, Doubting Thomas. Which is better than being the... The what? Not going there. Okay, go with the what we need part. You know that we need refreshments and other incentives to learn about the stock market. But first... Break number two. We know a lot about you already, because we know ourselves. For example, we know that you know how to listen to a hard podcast. We also know that you probably know how to subscribe. So as soon as you're done with that, tell us your story. We have ways you can contact us. It involves a special link where you can leave us a message. We may have an email address for you as well in the future, and we'll let you know if that happens. The reason for subscribing... I thought you'd never ask. When you subscribe, you automatically download all future episodes of that podcast. It just happens in your player without you having to go search again. How cool is that? 
This means better rankings for the podcast, more attention from advertisers, and more money. And this means more and better stuff for you. So your motivation is simple and easy. Subscribe today, whatever app and from whatever place you like. And don't just try to subscribe. There is no try. There is only do. We're changing the way we look at things. And remember, that's good. Eso es bueno, civil. Also remember, this is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Coaching happiness. Our call to action is right in the show notes. Find it and you win too. How about those incentives I asked for before the break? Okay, but since incentives are only good if you want them, let me ask, what is the perfect incentive for you to start investing? This is the focus on goals that we have for everybody. Knowing that I can live indefinitely in the manner I choose. I realize that it doesn't matter how much I save as long as I can afford to live comfortably. Red flag detected. Huh? Why is that a red flag? <laughs> because that's not how most people think. Oh, so you just want to call attention to it. Well, something like that. But back to the beginning of the tie-in. Which you'll notice I haven't demanded yet. To reach any goals including investment goals, you need to develop a financial discipline of saving and delayed gratification. Really? So you're saying beginner investors have to live boring lives? No, I'm not. At any stage of life, if you have a paradigm shift, you will not see having focus as boring. As a registered financial advisor, I would often tell people that good investing was like watching paint dry. Tie this paradigm shift to investing then. See, I knew it. Okay, let's say you're an investor who wants to make money. If you were thinking about making money, you would probably have an investment strategy which gets more money into your account. And if you wanted to keep your money safe, you might look at different, safer investments. You wouldn't be doing stock trading and you wouldn't just have a stock index fund or a target date fund or even just an emergency fund. As important as those are. Meaning, it's my goal that matters, not some average goal that everybody has. True that. We can collectively have a group goal, but for individuals, there is a very wide range. So about the safety net, my ears are peeled. The safety net, or emergency fund, it's something that protects your money from loss or theft. For example, if you invest in stocks, you want to make sure that the company you invested in is stable and won't go bankrupt. But... But stocks are risky. According to some people, yes. But eh, I believe that even getting out of bed involves some risk. To quote, Napoleon Hill Court detected. Wow, before I even say it, that's the way it works. That's the way what works? It's the quote. Oh, and what about bonds? Well, most bonds are far less risky than stocks, but... But what? But... As with a lot of different investment products, you'll probably get lower returns. Which goes hand in hand with lower risk, right? That's the way it works. Napoleon Hill Court detected. Again? Mutual funds? Well, that deserves a few shows by itself, me thinks. So maybe yes. And of course, real estate is another type of investment. Many people think of real estate as a way to give the man's money to somebody else. Yeah, and those people live in trailers, while other people are making a bunch from real estate. I'm going to pass on owning that stuff personally. Okay, again, goals do matter. So if it's just the personal ownership part you don't like, then maybe crowdfunding or REITs are better. In both cases, you can invest in properties without actually owning them. Has to be a cost. Quanto cuesta? How much does it cost? It varies. It's usually a couple of percent, sometimes called points. Wow, that's cheap. Well, that depends on the amount of money you invest. But even with small amounts, it could be cheaper than paying someone else to manage your money. So that's not the real point? Well, it's important, but the real point, as you say it, is that it's happening without you having to lord over it. This sounds scary. I get that, but that's how we grow. A wise man once told me, if your goal isn't scary, that's because it isn't big enough. What's your big underlying point? All investment choices have risks and rewards. If you don't take any risks, you will never have any rewards. Like in the Three Feet from Gold story. Which is not persistence. R.U. Darby and his uncle made the costly mistake of quitting just three feet from the jackpot. 
This cost them thousands and thousands of dollars. And they sold their expensive machinery to a junk man for a few hundred dollars. Right. The smart junk man made a fortune from the mine because he sought expert advice before quitting. He knew that there were many different ways to get rich. So how do I become a successful investor? Well, first, you have to know what you want. Second, you have to be patient. Attitude change. Ignore the noise instead of feeling the noise. Yep. Third, you need to stay away from what everybody else is doing. Huh? Well, think about it. If you do what everybody else is doing, you can only expect to do as well as the average one of them. That's an all-too-common approach, and it trips up a lot of people. Oh, okay. Practice, persistence, repeat. Yes, that's the only way to better your best. And learn from mistakes. Yep. Use them as stepping stones for your progress. Investing is easy. Investing is fun. Investing is rewarding. Writing those investing song lyrics again. A song would be great. With your voice, DT? That's your opinion. Opinions are the cheapest things, remember? I do remember, but the takeaway here is that you can patch anything with a changed attitude. Fix it in the mix, we used to say. Even my attitude on investing? You were made for this. Oh yeah, I must win. Yes, practice it. And persist till I win. Which is how you've all gotten good. Plus, I think positively and hit the subscribe button. Yes, so you don't have to do anything when we post more episodes. Except practice. Well, that. And repeat. And that too. Gracias por escuchar. A la prochaine. This podcast and our other podcasts are productions of Little Red Hen Industries. The supporting cast who helps me bake the bread includes... Techno King, John C. Brandy, Fact Checker, Abraham Lincoln, French Consultant, Virginia Mitchell, Media Expert, Favor, Abbasi E.K., Psychologist, William James, Rabbit Hole Advisor, Dr. Mark Perrot, Sound Designer, Goodly Amo, Marconi, Spanish Consultant, Cameron J.K. Brandy, Videographer, Alfred Hitchcock, Audio Props, Les Paul, Inspiration, Napoleon Hill and Earl Nightingale, we also have websites, and you can subscribe to both podcasts and get ebooks and other great stuff. You can send us a video, audio, or text message, but of course, you'll have to head to the show notes, either on your phone or on the web, to actually get links and stuff. And those clickable links are in the show notes. And before we forget, the artificial intelligence or AI voices you hear in our work come from the online tone generator, linked in the show notes. Finally, you can find us on Podmatch and Listen Notes, where we consider guests and guesting on other pods. And really finally, the music for our pods comes from Cute by Bent Sound, and from Piano Background by Nick Simon Adams. The sound effects credits go to Jackson Academy Ashmore, Canoe CG, Dr. Jekyll, Joe Payne, Everything Sounds, MK Play Moss Stories, ERH, and Just Good Inc. Yes, that's his name. All on freesound.org. Paul. <laughs>